All right, joined by Mark Aiken from the IU football team. Mark, as we, we talked to Chad already as well, you were named one of the two captains coming out of the, the spring season. What does that mean to be selected by your teammates to, to be a captain, not only through the spring, but for the summer and then going into the fall? Um, for me, it's a real honor, you know. Uh, I always felt like I could be a leader, you know. I felt like it was in me. But, you know, it's not the same. It's different. Somebody else feels like you're a leader, you know. And it's not something I take lightly. You, I feel like when you're the captain, people lean on you. So you got to take that responsibility, like, on, on full force, you know, and do what you got to do. Because now, you know, win or lose, things are put on you more, you know, because you're the captain. So you got you to gotta get it done. Now for you, you second team all conference last year as, as a kick returner, also kind of a specialist um, from a defensive standpoint that you're a guy that can play corner, can play safety. I don't want to say you're going to step up into the box and play linebacker, but I'm sure if coach asked you to do that, you would. How do you approach each one of those positions as they all bring something a little bit different to the table? Um, I mean, it, it, it kind of started in high school. You know, my coach would move me around. Because, you know, like in high school, it's different. You could shut down the side of the field, then they won't throw it to you. So you got to kind of get in different positions where you can affect the game. And it just, it's just always, like I've always been a multi-sport athlete, you know. So it's like I got, I got, I feel like I'm athletic. I could play any position based off my athleticism. Then it's, after that, you just got to study, get everything down. So you're taking the thinking part out. And that's really how I'm able to do that. Now, now for you, you're a guy that, that started at another university. You had an opportunity to, to transfer to Eastern Illinois to, to continue your career. What was it that attracted you to Eastern to want to pursue, take the opportunity to come here to continue your career? Um, uh, in the past, I had a couple coaches, you know, who are alumni here. So they told me a lot of good things about it. You know, and I actually visited EIU during my high school, uh, during my high school time um, when it was time to visit schools and stuff. And I remember the EIU when I was talking to them again when I was making my transition. And I just, I really liked how the coach, coaches approached me, you know. They made me feel like I was needed and wanted. And then after that, when I started talking to all the players, you know, that was just like, the uh, that's what made it everything come true, you know. that That's what made me make the decision. The guys felt like it was at home, you know. They, they brought me in quickly and it just felt smooth. Now, not to put you on the spot here, but Football's a size game when you look at things, yeah. and and you you and Chad walk in together as a, as an offensive lineman, and you're you're a, you're a DB. Yeah. Have you always kind of maybe you're a little bit undersized, maybe for what a pro typical football player would be? Do you kind of maybe use that as a little bit of extra motivation to kind of I don't want to say work a little bit harder, mm -hmm. but that chip on that shoulder? Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it always gave me a chip on the shoulder because you know when you're smaller, people doubt you or they feel like you can't do this, do that. And it's just, that's what, that's another thing that pushed me. I got a lot of whys, you know, but that's one of them. And, and I know because I'm uh, smaller, people underestimate me, you know, so that kind of gives me an advantage too. Now, as we said, you able to work in a couple different positions, play safety, play corner, yeah. special teams. Is there one of those that you prefer over another that the coach said, hey, look, you can only play one spot today. <laughs> this is the one I want to be in. Um, it's hard to say, but... If it was just one position for the rest of my life, I will probably play safety. You know, like, I love kick return, you know, I love getting yep. the ball, but it's like safety is just something about it. You feel good out there just in free space, being able to run around and play, fun, yeah. Now, same question I asked Chad. You guys are going into your last year here, kind of the, the end of the college career. It, it, you can see it down the road here. What's the message to the teammates, to the other seniors that, you know, we kind of have a veteran team this year yeah. and there's a sense of urgency to going into the season? Um, for me, it's just like, I feel like it's all about the work you put in, you know, because every school in the country is on the same program. Everybody works out spring, fall, camp. So I feel like the way, only way you can separate yourself is the work, but it can't just be work. It has to be focused work, you know, like intentional work. And that's, that's all I'm just... That's the message I'm spreading mostly to the team. Make sure you work, work. It's all about the work. All right, perfect. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.